Anchored vessels and vessels aground. Rule 30, page 107. A vessel at anchor shall exhibit where it can best be seen. In the forepart, an all-round white light or one ball, and at or near the stern and at a lower level than the light prescribed in paragraph 1, an all-round white light. A vessel of less than 50 meters in length may exhibit an all-round white light where it can best be seen instead of the lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule. A vessel at anchor may and a vessel of 100 meters or more in length shall also use available working lights or equivalent to illuminate her decks. Rule 30 continued, page 109. A vessel aground shall exhibit the lights prescribed in paragraph A or B of this rule, and in addition, if practicable, where they can best be seen two all-around red lights in a vertical line or three balls in a vertical line. Page 111, Rule 30 continued. A vessel of less than seven meters at anchor, when at anchor not in or near a narrow channel fairway anchorage or where other vessels normally navigate shall not be required to exhibit the lights or shapes prescribed in paragraphs A or B of this rule. A vessel of less than 12 meters in length when aground shall not be required to exhibit the lights or shapes prescribed in subparagraphs D1 and 2 of this rule. A vessel of less than 20 meters in length when at anchor in a special anchorage area designated by the secretary shall not be required to exhibit the anchor lights and shapes required by this rule. So those are the only anchorage areas designated on the charts then? Yeah, they should be on charts. Right, so if it's designated as an anchorage area, you do not need the ball or the all-around light. Right, okay. yeah. And that has a restriction Mm -hmm. Yeah, a vessel less than 20 meters in length when at anchor in a special anchorage area designated by the secretary. There's, we have about 90 boats anchored out off of our yacht club. There's about 90 spots. Oh dear. And um, none of them need to run anchor lights. Some of them do though. They put those yard lights out. You know the lights that, they're solar powered lights? Oh yeah put one of those okay. on their boat. Because I know Milwaukee has several anchorage areas. And I didn't know you could not use a anchor light. Yeah. I suppose you could just to be safe, but it's not required. Right. If you're under 65 feet, basically. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at that. <clears throat> let's look at vessels at anchor and vessels aground. Vessels at anchor. A vessel at anchor less than 50 meters needs how many white all-around lights? One. One white all-around light. A vessel at anchor greater than 50 meters needs how many all-around white lights? Two. Oh, and higher where? than the stern. High one in the bow, low one in the stern. A vessel under 100 meters may. A vessel over 100 meters shall exhibit how many anchor lights? Two. High one oh, in the bow. High. And in deck addition, lights. work deck lights or equivalent, working lights or equivalent to illuminate her decks. You may see a question that says, you might see a question that says, a 75 meter vessel may use her working lights or equivalent to illuminate her decks while at anchor. Okay. Right? Yes, because 75 meter may use her working lights or equivalent to illuminate her decks. A vessel of 100 meters or more in length shall use her working lights or equivalent to illuminate her decks. This uh, is. I assume a vessel less than 50 meters, you can illuminate the deck with work lights also. Yeah. Even though it's not specifically stated in the rule. Right. Yeah, it says a vessel under 100 meters may, uh, okay. which gives you the, 
the ability to run those lights legally. Okay. And look, this says I may. I'm only <laughs> seven meters. Yeah. I got a big battery. <laughs> right. Love lights. A ground. Let's look at a ground. A ground. Now we're talking only less than 50, more than 50. So less than 50 a ground. What do we have? One all around and then a red right over red. Good. And over 50 a ground. Two whites. High white. Low white. And then red right over red. Good. Let's see if I remember this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I think you will. You'll be surprised you sleep on this stuff. It starts to stick. I hope so. It's like duct tape. <laughs> Mine feels like a sieve right now. It's running out quicker than it's coming in. <laughs> well, we better pile it on there quick. <laughs> a best lead anchor, under 50 meters. One white all around light, over 50 meters. Two all around white lights, high one in the bow, low one in the stern, over 100 meters. Two all around white lights, high one in the bow, low one in the stern. Working lights or equivalent to illuminate her decks. A vessel aground. Under 50 meters, one white light and two reds. Over 50 meters, two white lights and two reds. Shallow water ahead. Okay, so two reds, two whites, shallow water ahead. And let's look at one more thing before we leave this topic. What's the day shape for a vessel at anchor? Ball. One ball. Day shape for a vessel of ground? Two balls. Three. Three balls. Good.